The summer is getting close to ending, and I understand that a lot of you are going to school uh, probably like a week, two, probably like a month. I don't know. I don't really care. And I'm going to give you some back to school advice because all these like beauty guru YouTubers that do this, they're always like, oh, high school, uh, if it gets hard for you, remember, it, it, it's always, it's always going to get better. It doesn't. It never gets better. High school is probably the lowest you could be at. And I'm not saying high school, I mean any kind of school, because I don't, I know a lot of my viewers are pretty, pretty young people, and I'm gonna help you out with this, right? First off, if you're in middle school, do whatever you want. Don't, don't, don't think about it twice. Do whatever you want. Middle school grades do not count for anything. They don't help you at all in anything, unless you take like algebra. If you take algebra, then you got you gotta try pretty hard in that class. But if you're not, then none of it, none of it matters. Honestly, none of your middle school grades matter. So you could fail all your classes and nothing would happen. So, it's my advice to you, middle schoolers. <laughs> Washington, Washington. How to ditch? Because ditching is a very essential part of high school, right? Most freshmen probably won't won't ditch if you're if you're becoming a freshman. But if you're becoming a sophomore and above, ditching is almost a weekly thing. Me and my friends had this technique of ditching, right? We had we had codes, right? Code green was like if you like walked up to me when I was about to go in class and went code green. Code green is, dude. I really don't want to go to class right now, come ditch with me, and I'll be like, I got you, I got you, I'm going with you, right? Code purple is, oh, I have a substitute next period, so if you want to ditch, I got you. And that's, that's easy. When there's a substitute, and you ditch in that class, and you're in that class while there's a substitute there, it's easy, it's, it's one of the easiest ways to ditch. Like, if a, the easiest way to do this is, when you're take, when they're taking role, and they call some kid's name and nobody answers, then you say you're that kid because the substitute doesn't know if you're that kid or not. Just say you're that kid and then there you go, you're off the hook. You could be there all, all period. You don't even have to do the work because you're not actually in that class. Uh, and then cold red was, come on dude, that's ditched the whole day. But so far we haven't really used that. Right, so this is a way I would ditch. Um, <laughs> I'm the best at giving advice. This is how to ditch like a period. Like, like, let's say you don't want to go to like fourth period, and then this is how you would ditch, right? So you could either sit in the bathroom stall, all period, just like on your phone, just sitting there doing whatever you want, right? That's how I first did it. And the reasons why I first did it were justified. I mean, later on, the reasons why I ditched, they, they were just because I was being a lazy cunt. Most of it was because I was justified when I was a freshman, right? That's one way to ditch. Uh. The way I use the most <laughs> is uh, just to go sit in front of the school because I go to a very crappy school in a very crappy city and it's like very ghetto over here and like uh, the teachers, though, like the staff, if they see you ditching in school, they'll freak out. But if you're like sitting right in front of the office, like outside, they won't do anything. They'll just leave you. The security guards will even come out and like talk to the students and be like, hey, what's up? How you doing? And they'll just catch up on life, right? So that's... <laughs> if you go to a good school, I feel bad for you because <laughs> my school is really easy to ditch. You could just sit out there and they, they won't do anything, right? Right. This uh, this other technique, you have to be committed. This is when there's like a test or like if you just don't, you're not really in the mood, like you're having a really bad day and you don't want to school go to school at all. In the morning, make yourself vomit, like be bulimic or something, dude. Like stick your fingers in your mouth vomit up this vomit okay if you vomit and then you go tell your parent oh well, hey man i i just vomited right now uh the, most of the time they'll say all right do you want to stay home and then you'll be like yeah and they'll be like okay cool because you don't want to be vomiting in school dude <laughs> i have a story i can't i'll tell you later though um but yeah that's a, a big technique i also use Another really easy way to ditch is uh, during lunch because my school has uh, two lunches and it's easy, easy to double lunch. Just if you have first lunch, then go to first lunch and when the bell rings, just walk, walk around the school or something. Just walk around, dude. Then the security guards can't be like, go to class. 
Because they don't know if you're going to class or not. Just be walking around, dudes. Chill. You could do that regular ditching, too, if you're not. You just regularly ditch. Just start walking around. Like, the security guards won't tell you, hey, go to class because you probably you might be on your way to class. So that's that's an easy way. But like I said, uh, when the bell rings, start walking around. And then when the bell rings for the second lunch, you go to the second lunch. And then you just chill there, dude. That's, it's so easy to ditch because you have... You go both lunches. It's, it's lit. Another, okay. This is a really, really useful technique. Uh, this can't work all the time. It only works like, let's say you're sitting in class, right? And then you get called, like, to go to the office or, like, to go to, the, to like, your counselor or something. Uh, take your stuff with you. Go to your counselor. And even if you're there for, like, a, like not even a whole minute, like, 30 seconds... Even if you're there for 30 seconds, you can go. You could just ditch. You could just walk around, like I said, or like sit down somewhere. Because you don't need to go back to class because your their teacher already signed you as being there. So that's another really easy way to ditch. So if you get called to the front to go do something, easy, easy way to ditch. Trust me. And that was that was that was my ditching segment. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a good person. Split eight ways of fucking time. Opponents beware. Opponent. All right. This other segment is something that everybody uses, and if you deny it, then you're being, you're being stubborn because you know you use this. This is how to cheat. How to cheat is probably the most useful advice you'd ever get in high school. Some of the most useful advice. I'm gonna give you some more advice. Okay. I I never really cheated. I. If we're gonna be honest here, pe people always cheat off of me. But when I do cheat, this is how I do it, right? So, you got some, like, the, the normal things, you know? Like, write something on your hand, and then when you're in class, just, like, look at it. And that that's a good technique if you're really good at hiding that, right? One of the methods I used a lot, especially for homework, one, like, r really easy with homework. There's this website called Quizette. Is it? I don't know, but trust me, this is a lifesaver. <laughs> like, let's say for for a homework, your teacher like gives you like I don't know, like a bunch of questions for like a book or something. You Google the name of the book, and then you Google one of the questions, and then the Quizette link. Ninety percent of the time, you click on it, and it has all the questions and all the answers, and it's it's so useful. Trust me, just don't copy it word for word, you little retard. Because if you copy it for word for word, then it's obvious that you copied, dude. This is another way that I learned from from the one and only Papa Franku. Write stuff on your leg and wear shorts and then pull up your shorts and look at it. Look at your leg to get the answers and then pull them down. Because if a teacher walks by and sees you, he's not going to tell you, hey, pull up your shorts. And if you do, you could be like, hey, dude, that's sexual harassment. I'm about to go report you. Because the teacher ain't trying to lose his job, dude. And that's all he has, honestly. If he's a teacher, he's rock bottom. And obviously, the one of the easiest ways is to use your phone. And this was extremely hard on me. Because at the end of last year, I didn't have my phone. My phone had broken. So it was so hard on me. But I, I, I still passed. So good, good for me. But uh, like, let's say a teacher... Like, you have to make sure the teacher's not looking. And then you could just pull out your phone and then, like, Google the answers or something like that. If a teacher catches you, you could just be like, oh, I was just looking at the time. And though most of the time, those were like, all right, cool, just don't do it again. I mean, most of my teachers let me, let us use our phones. Like I said, we're very, we're very ghetto school. Yeah, most of them let us use our phones, so we just pull them out and do that. Or, like, I had this teacher that would always leave class and just go do their own thing. And whenever they left, people would pull out their phones, they'd start talking, they'd start asking each other stuff. And it, it's it's always cool, dude. It's always cool. Probably some very useful information, especially for uh, categories such as English. Let's say for English, you had to read a book or you had to like write, write an essay or a summary or something like that. Make the first, like, two sentences and then like the last two sentences actually be about what you're supposed to write and in the middle just write gibberish because 
90% of the time. The teacher has no time to read it. She'll just read, the, she'll skim through it, see if you actually wrote something about it, and if you did, they'll just give you a, a good grade. And that's so easy to do. Not If you're working on like textbook and math or something like that, there's always answers in the back. In the back of the book, there's always answers. It's usually like only like the odd numbers that they have or something, like the even numbers or something like that. But this is where you get it, right? You get a friend and you're like, hey, dude, I'll do the odds and you do the evens. And he'll be like, all right, cool. And when he's doing the evens, you just copy the odds from the back of the book. There's also this really useful website I'll put in the description. I'm trying to hook you guys up. Uh, this has a bunch of textbooks on it. And uh, th has you could just put the page of the textbook once you find your textbook. And then that's it. Right. So, like I said, an another way of cheating. Okay, a lot of teachers do this. And uh, I'm not complaining. Because a lot of them can't be bothered to uh, grade your stuff manually. So just be, they'll just be like, hey, trade with a partner or something like that. And then you guys could correct each other's papers. And when you do that, just, just like, if it's all right, then obviously give them 100%. But if there's, like, if it's, like, completely wrong, only mark, like, two or, like, one wrong. And then give the rest of it to them. Hook a brother up, dude. Trust me, it's it's going to help everybody. It's a win-win situation. You get them on your back. You got your, you got their back. It's cool right because then both you guys pass and the teacher doesn't suspect a thing <laughs> that's a technique i i love to use Let's beware. he's coming he's coming he's coming let me lay it. this is how to choose your friends wisely all right this is gonna help a lot uh, a lot of people would say uh, don't hang out with the wrong crowd uh, trust me sometimes you're gonna want the wrong crowd around right so there's like why well, my school everybody's like this but if, or if you go to like a good school there, there there has to be like one or two like hood rat kids you know um, be very good friends with them just try to get on their good side if they ask you to like gay hey, bro can I copy you be like go ahead but whenever someone asks you to copy always tell them a hey, there's, I'm not saying everything I wrote is right. Most of the time, they'll just be like, "All right, it's cool. Don't worry about it. I just want, I just want something to write down." So, be really good at these people, right? You, you could be even good at me. I would say I'm one of those people. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not gonna say that. I don't want you guys to think I'm the wrong type of person, because obviously on this channel, I really care about my reputation. So, be really good friends with these people, just in case you ever like get in a fight or something. They got you. They. they they're they're there for you because look at yourself dude you know you can't fight dude trust me it's a lifesaver they're there for you when stuff hits the fan they'll be there and they're cool they're loyal to awesome dude trust me uh, another group of friends that you should be with are the white kids that sit by themselves at lunch trust me you want to be friends with them don't even like question me this should be a known fact the people that have no friends be friends with them one for you could like, help them with comfort and two to be safe dude you ain't trying to lose your life in school dude what the hell are you were you, are you gay trust me school's the last place you want to die and if something ever happens the, the kid got you dude he's gonna be texting you hey don't come to school today and you'll be like i got you man i won't i won't and you better not snitch on him if you snitch on him, his family gonna go on you, bro. It's not gonna be very fun. On the line, he had two on the vine. I mean, two sets of testicles, so... How to bully people, right? Uh, there's there's a bunch of ways to bully. Uh, there's talk behind someone's back bullying. There's a... There's be up front bullying. And then there's, there's a sniper bullying. And if you don't know what sniper bullying is, then go check out... Uh, filthy frank's video because he explains it very well i don't you guys might be asking isaac why are you teaching us how to bully because look at yourself dude you're gonna get bullied a lot so you need to bully other people so that you don't feel so bad about it and this is also how not if you want to know how not to get bullied be up your bully or like fight him dude because he's even if you lose a fight He's gonna know you ain't taking that stuff, dude, and leave you alone. He's gonna be like, hey, I ain't trying to get in trouble because I'm messing with this kid. Don't 
ever tell a teacher or a parent because they're not going to do anything about it, dude. If I if I was being bullied and I went up and told the teacher, like, hey, bro, there's this kid over there bullying me. Um, the teachers usually can call you out and be like, hey, kid, stop bullying this kid. And then that bully's going to bully you even more because he knows you're snitching. Don't be a snitch, bro. Fight them. Fight them because they know that you ain't going to take anything from them. Really easy way of not being bullied is... Uh, don't join like a group of smart kids trust me even if it's like oh it's gonna be really good it's gonna look really good on your on your transcript don't do it because that just makes everybody think that you think you're better than them even if you don't 90 percent of the time you're gonna act like you're better than them even though you don't really see yourself doing that that's just how you're gonna you're gonna turn into one of those kids and nobody likes those kids don't ever show off about how smart you are and don't care about what other people think about you that's a really big thing because in high school everyone's insecure they're just trying to impress each other just don't care what people think dude if you care what people think then you're gonna have a bad time because you're never gonna know these people ever again after high school and just being like hey i don't care about you dude i don't care what you think about me i'm only here for like what four years and then that's it Divine. on a horse made of crystal he patrolled the land with the mason this is how to get a girlfriend uh be a complete prick girls like that that show no respect to them and uh and and you'll you'll get uh, show no respect to them and you'll get the hot girls right the hot girls are the one that's into this so if you want a hot girlfriend dude be mean to them call them fat do all this stuff dude they love it right high, high school's bad just letting you know especially middle school and this middle school is where all all the bullying is at right okay and in shelter and his perfect hands here comes george in can uh, just some added in tips that you need to know don't be cringy please there's so many cringy kids at my school there's like kids that run around going rawr and like stuff like that don't do that if you do that you're almost guaranteeing a beating don't do that please don't be cringy don't be one of those anime kids that walk around and overreact to everything and act like they're a cartoon character you're super cringy when you do that trust me it's not gonna help you once you go out of that phase you're gonna look back and be like man i was so cringy like be emo or be seen be whatever you want dude just don't overreact to stuff don't be cringy because if you're cringy it's so hard to be friends with you trust me tests that are multiple choice or true or false questions and you don't you don't know the answers to guess dude it's a one out of four chance of getting the answer right don't just leave it blank guess because it's if you leave it blank it's gonna affect your grade and if you guess yeah at least have a chance of getting your grade to be pretty good on social media don't post too much crazy stuff because the counselors at your school are super nosy and they will check your social medias. I mean, I, sh I probably should be the last person saying this kind of stuff, but they do it. Uh, I, I once was at like this conference and this uh, counselor admitted to it. She was just like, I stalk all your Facebook profiles. And if a kid you don't know in your class asks you for a pencil, don't give them one just be like hey bro i don't got any even if you do because if you do give them a pencil you're never gonna see that ever again it's gone you might as well be throwing it in the trash can dude because it means nothing anymore there's a lot i left out like obviously using your phone in class do it when there's a sub if there's a sub you could do whatever you want dude trust me it's legit it's awesome and if there's a movie and the teacher's like i need you to copy 20 notes uh i mean i need you to make 20 notes about this movie just make notes about random stuff because they don't actually read what you write they just check to make sure you have it and i have to say this because some of you guys are retarded and you probably think i was being serious i was saying a lot of this as satire not all of it was satire but a lot of it was so uh if you actually do this, you can't blame me because I said this in the video. So if you try to sue me, dude, you ain't, you ain't gonna win. So, uh, there you go. If any parents try to sue me, I said this, so I legally can't be held accountable. <laughs> there you go.